On the occasion of International Women's Day Wednesday, Junior Minister of Gender Affairs et al., Senator Aislin Phillip, encouraged more girls and women to get involved in careers centered around information technology and engineering. She was speaking in light of the themes of this year's International Women's Day, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. The growing involvement of women and girls in STEM has resulted in the creation of spaces that provide access to the technological tools that impact our educational, emotional, and socioeconomic development. This has resulted in many of us attaining the ability to improve varying aspects of our lives by utilizing this increased access to information. While this year's International Women's Day theme invites us to celebrate all that women have achieved in STEM, it also reminds us of the continual gender gap in that arena. I want to take the opportunity to encourage more women and girls to engage in careers that focus on information technology, computer engineering, coding, and advanced mathematics. Meanwhile, on the occasion, remarks were offered by Minister Marsha Henderson, Government Senator and Minister Dr. Joyal Clark, and Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Jeffrey Hanley. As Senior Minister for Gender Affairs, I take this opportunity to wish all women happy International Women's Day under the theme, Digit All Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. We recognize that the climate crisis is not gender neutral. What does that mean? Women and girls experience the fallout of the climate crisis more acutely than men. Women and girls depend on natural resources more so than men. Therefore, women and girls will feel the negative impacts of the climate crisis. There is therefore a need to embrace gender equality as we move towards greater action in response to climate change. For me, being a woman is a superpower. On this International Women's Day, I wish to take this opportunity to say happy International Women's Day to all the amazing superheroes who serve in the ministries of labor and employment, as well as those in the Ministry of Tourism and International Transport. International Women's Day, March 8th, is a global day celebrating the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.